Hello everybody, here's my mama, and she's gonna be showing y'all how she makes her butter today. And here's all the ingredients and everything that you'll need. I'll let her explain it to you this time, and she'll tell you everything that you need. Okay, well somebody sent us this right here, this churn. I've never seen one like it before, but it works. That's all you have to do is put your milk in there. See so your uh, heavy cream. I've not tried the uh, liquid uh, buttermilk yet in it, but I've done the heavy cream and I really like that making the butter. The butter tastes real good. You put a little dash of salt in it, which I haven't done yet. I'll do it in a minute. And then uh, you'll have some milk left over after you take your uh, butter out and you put your milk in this or in a jar or something, a container, and save it for your biscuits or bread. And then you have the strainer. You put your butter in here and you let it strain the, all the milk out of it. And then you kind of stir it around in there. And then you just put it in your little bowl with the plastic on it. The saran wrap that somebody sent me come in handy. And we'll just put it in a bowl and put it in the refrigerator. And there's our butter. So I'll take this off and uh, whoever sent this, thank you so much because she's oh, yeah. been using it a lot. She's already made multiple batches. Yeah. And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in it. Just a little dash. And then I'm going to stir it around a little bit more for y'all. Show you how it works. And when you put it in here, it's all cream. And it takes you about uh, two days. It's according how uh, warm your house is. Uh, when it starts getting real warm, the butter starts making. And I'll, I just come in here every so often, I'll put my milk in here, my heavy cream in here, and I'll just sit down and I'll uh, do like this a couple of times during the day. And then uh, I think yesterday's when I put it in there, I started with it yesterday. And then so. uh, today it started making the butter. You can see the butter right there. And all you do is this. You just keep doing that until your butter develops. And then the excess milk, you leave it for, or you put it in a container for your, um, probably need some paper towels in here. So if you go by like a couple times a day and you spin it like that just a few times every day Then it'll take about two days and it'll Make butter. I accidentally moved this and I, the lid wasn't on and now it's draining everywhere That's okay It's going to anyway Yeah, it makes your batter. So you just take your butter out uh, your churn out here break your butter off Set it down here, and you just put your butter in this. Let me get this over here. You just take your spoon, put your butter in your your little uh, strainer here, and your bowl to catch the excess milk. And it is really good. When we had cows, I had a big old churn that was Milton's mother's, and uh, we would uh, make butter. I made butter. Now, I love cow's butter. It is so good, but now I don't like buttermilk. Now, Milton likes buttermilk, but I don't. But it's good to cook in. And when you got cows, you got to make sure that your fields don't have no wild onions in them. Our cows got a hold of some wild onions one time and uh, made the milk and everything taste like onions. It didn't taste good at all. So men had to go out and cut all them wild onions down so the cows wouldn't get a hold of them. Make sure I got all my butter out of here. And then we had a lady uh, up the road here. She's gone now. She uh, used to make butter and sell it, and I used to buy it from her all the time, too. You take your container, and you pour your excess milk in here. And this is real good for your bread. And put it in the refrigerator till you get ready to make your bread. So. If y'all wanna see her biscuit recipe where you could use this, 
then you could look on the playlist. It says my mama's secret recipe, and you could find it there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and then you just take this, and you just rake it a couple times. Try to get all the excess milk out of it. And just kind of roll it over. And be sure and put your salt in your thing and mix it up a little bit. And just put a little dash of salt is all you put. Just a little dash. But now this would be good if you had cheesecloth too, but I don't have no cheesecloth. So I've been doing it like this, and when I get a chance to go to Beckley, I'll uh, get some uh, cheesecloth. Milton went to David. He don't like doing stuff like that, getting a material and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, you just put your cloth over this and your bowl underneath here, your cheesecloth, and then you take your butter out and put it in there, and then you can squeeze your milk out, you know, in that cheesecloth, and it goes out better. Right here, sometimes you lose some of your butter. See here? Underneath there. And then you just take your butter and you just put it in your container whatever little container you have. And this is really good butter. And I'm going to try it with um, the regular um, oh, uh, buttermilk. See what it does. But it's really good with that now. And you just kind of mold this in here. And you know you can get molds. You can go to a feed store and they will have molds too that you can put uh, mold your butter with it. Well, this off the spoon. Show you what it looks like. And then when it freezes, or not freezes, when you put it in the refrigerator and it gets um, uh, chilled and firm, you can just pull the plastic out and then get ready for the other one to put in there. You know. But it is really good. It is really good. So put your container on it. And we'll put it in the refrigerator. Wash everything up. And we're done. We got our real butter. But now cow butter, fresh cow butter, that's the way to go. You know, but this is almost like cow butter. Yeah, this is a neat thing. I don't know where the lady found this at, but it might have came from Amazon. <coughs> yeah, you look at that. That's, Never seen one like it. You know, it's something else. I love it. Uh, if y'all have one of these and y'all make butter y'all self like this, let us know in the comment uh, if you have one of these things. Yeah, it's neat. Yeah, I get up every morning now. Um, my daughter was laughing at me. She said, you're not gonna put no uh, jelly on that uh, butter bread. And I said, uh, it, it's loaf bread. I got me a slice of bread out and smeared that butter on there. I said, no, I'm eating them like this. It's good like this. <laughs> Might be fat, you know, mightn't it? <laughs> but it's good. I really thank y'all for everything. Y'all just seem to know what we need or what we could use. So I appreciate everything from y'all. God is good, and he's going to bless y'all mightily. He's blessed me with y'all. I thank y'all. Thank you for being our YouTube family. That's what you are to us. Love y'all. You ready to show them everything now, Corey? Yeah. He can show y'all what we've got <coughs> while he was gone. This is it. It's super easy, super simple. Let us know in the comments if y'all end up making it or if y'all are going to try it. Yeah. But here's some of the things that we got in uh, packages while I was gone. I think all this stuff up here at the top all came in one package. There's two signs here. And then these are just one sign, but it's it's like a three-piece one sign that, that you hang it. And it comes with this card in it and these two uh, bookmarkers. So these are really nice. I'm, and it's the season to be hanging this stuff up, too. It's orange for, like, Halloween yeah. season, I guess. Or Thanksgiving yeah, season. Nice to hang it, too. <laughs> then somebody sent this a book. It's a really cool book. Mom said she's already been using it. That's it's like me and Corey's journal. How we got started in YouTube. Cooking. I think it's like metal too. It feels like the, it's got like hinges on it that's yeah, metal or something. It's neat. 
No, and it's like, even the outside is like metal or like aluminum or something. And then it's got like little metal hinges here to keep it locked. So that's really cool. Yeah, I love it. I don't now, know. I thought I'd write our journal in it, how we got started on YouTube and everything, and things that's, um, what happened to us while we're doing all this. I'll be putting everything down in it, where he went to the Philippines. I loved his videos when he went over there. It was amazing. Okay, I quit talking, Corey. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm sure they want to hear you talking anyways. If y'all want to hear Mama talking more, let us know in the comments. <laughs> If somebody sent this, it's a chicken or a rooster crowing. That's really cool. It's like a stained glass thing. I don't know who sent uh, these things, but thank y'all so much for it. And then whenever I was over there and I did a video with my mother-in-law, she made, it's called adobo chicken. If y'all haven't seen it, y'all could find it on the same playlist of uh, my mom's recipes. And it says my mama's secret recipes, but she used this. It's called Magic Syrup. And I don't know where y'all got this at. I don't know if y'all ordered it on Amazon. Yeah, because I've never seen it before until I was over there. But she uses this to make her adobo chicken with. And it's like some type of uh, seasoning. seasoning that's only from over there, but I guess they ordered it. It's like a Philippine or like an Asian seasoning or something. Yeah, we sure will be trying, that's yeah. for sure. We'll try to make her recipe too the same. We'll watch the video and try to yeah. make the same recipe for y'all to see if my mom's is any different. Yeah. And all this stuff came from uh, one package. It's a special lady that's been uh, on our channel for a long time. She's been watching us and she's been commenting all the time. She always defends us from the bashers because there's a lot of bashers that's that just loves to hate on us and they hate anything that we do. But the lady who sent this, she always defends us from everybody. <laughs> so thank you so much for sending this and for always defending us and for helping us out in the comments and for everything you do for us. It really means so much, so much to us. But here's the gifts that she sent. Now it's two it. little notebooks. Yeah, the folders, I forget why she put it in the folders. Yeah. Things she thought I might need. Yeah, I think it's like recipes and stuff too. Yeah. It says about 20 to 25 minutes. That's the recipe there. Uh -huh. And then these is like where history lives. And this is an area map, Washington area map. And then there's, Eight. she sent the more stamps, the Thanksgiving thing. And then this is a personal letter. And here's uh, more envelopes and stuff because my mom uses a lot of envelopes because she sends, and she uses a lot of stamps. She sends out everybody who sends her something if it has your address she sends you a, a letter or a card and maybe a few other things too sometimes she sends out like little angels and stuff so anybody who sent stuff you can expect a at least a card back yeah and i'm trying to get enough gifts up to send everybody something i got your address be sure to put your address on the inside of your envelopes because i got another letter today that i can't read the the address so be sure and put your address on the inside of your um that the post office uh, marks over it or something, you know. But uh, yeah, put it on the inside, and I'm gonna try to get some gifts out to everybody. Yeah. You know, be something little, but it's just a little thank you note to say I love you and I appreciate you. Yeah. So y'all make sure to send us uh, the your address on the inside of the envelope, so that way my mom can read it and she'll send you something back. But here's some of the cards that we got. It's a personal letter. It says remembering you at Thanksgiving for so many beautiful reasons. And then it's got this little bookmarker. It's Psalms 23, five through six. And here's a cool uh, letter. It's got a dog on it. I think this type of dog is called a wine rhymer. My dad used to always have these types of dogs. It's like his favorite type of dog, I guess, because he always, he always had one. This one just says just a note, and it's like the everything's sticking out on it. It's leased, but it's like st sticking out of the card. This one says just a little high for me. Here's another personal letter. And then this one says sending you a little TLP, and it means tender love prayer, tender loving prayer, and it come with this in there. Yeah, I love that little card, what it says. It says, when Jesus is all we have, we realize he's all we need. Yeah, 
That's right, amen. It says 2 Timothy 4, 15 through 17. That is the truth. Yeah. This would make a great a bookmarker too yes. for your Bible. But here's this for any new viewers, new subscribers, anybody who hasn't seen it yet. If y'all want to send something to the P.O. Box, the well, only reason we made the P.O. Box is because people request it. But if y'all want to send something to it, then we'll show it here on the table like this and we'll use it in a video for y'all. Or we'll use it for y'all on the video. And y'all see y'all's gift being opened or showed here on the table like this. And the PayPal is just for people that's requested it before too. But y'all shouldn't feel like obligated or like y'all need to send something because y'all really don't need to send something. This is just in case somebody really wants to and y'all was like wanting our P.O. box or, or the PayPal, then y'all can, but we're not like asking for it. It's just if y'all really wanted to. Yeah, we appreciate We thank you for it. You don't have to do that. We love you anyway. Yeah. For just watching our videos. Yeah, we're so thankful for everything y'all do for us. So y'all really don't need to send us anything. But just in case, y'all could picture it here or pause it or write it down or whatever y'all want to do. And now my mom's got uh, some scriptures for y'all today. She's going to read a little bit out of the Bible for y'all. And I love reading y'all's letters y'all sent me. I love them. I thank you for them all. Uh, I'm going to be in Psalms, the 37th uh, chapter today. And I'm going to start with, it's almost like the same thing I read, talking about yesterday. But uh, it's uh, Psalms 37. I'm going to start with 9 and I'll go over to number 34 verse. It says, for evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, they shall diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Boy, we need peace, don't we? It says, The wicked plotteth against the just, and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he saith, for he seeth, that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. Yeah, it seems like today everybody don't uh, don't like uh, God's people or, uh, you know, the Jews or the Christian people. Anybody that loves Jesus, they, they're against them. I don't know why because uh, God is love. Jesus is love. It says, Their sword shall enter into their own heart. And their bows shall be broken. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken. But the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright. And their inheritance shall be forever. Yeah, we're going to live in heaven forever. Where it's peace, love, and joy. It's going to be something, you know. So we need to be ready to meet the Lord. It says, They shall not be ashamed in the evil time. And in the days of famine, they shall be steadfast, satisfied them. But the wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of lambs. They shall consume, and to smoke shall they consume away. The wicked borroweth, and payeth not again. But the righteous showeth mercy, and giveth. For such as be blessed of him shall inherit the earth, and they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now am old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed bagging bread. And that is so true. That is a, that is a true verse right there. When you got God, you got everything, and he takes care of you, no matter what. I remember times when me and Milton didn't have no money or anything, and money would come our way to pay our bills that we couldn't pay, you know. Or he would be out of work, and we had five kids here, and uh, no way to go get groceries or anything, and you couldn't go to the welfare office to get uh, food stamps or anything because he was on a picket line where they was uh, picketing, where he worked at a coal mine, you know. And they wouldn't give him uh, food stamps unless he would move out of the house and go to his mother's and stay, and I'd say, I'm by myself. And I said, no, we're not doing it. That is a lie. I'm not doing that. We're a husband and wife and we're a family. And we're not going to separate just because uh, they want to give us food stamps and wants to separate us. It wasn't going to happen. And God took care of us. I mean, the people from the church brought us food. We, we had more food than we did when he was working. So God takes care of his own. Um, it says, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed bagging bread. He... 
is ever merciful and leadeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good, and dwell forevermore. For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his, his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. And the righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. The mouth of righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watcheth the righteous and seeketh to slay him. Isn't that the truth? You see that all today on TV and places, all these riots and things. They hate righteous people. They hate God's people. And they're, and they're killing the Jews and stuff. It just don't make sense to me. So much hate in the world. The Lord will not leave him in his hand nor condemn him when he is judged. Wait on the Lord and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. Yeah, we're going to see it all right. You know, uh, God's not going to let his people uh, be uh, killed and, and what, what they're doing to them today, hated and everything. God's going to take us to play, a place one day in heaven that we're, we won't have to see all this hate. You know, I'm going to read um, the commentary, this little piece right here. It says, anger is a destructive emotion. And ain't that the truth? At its core, it reveals a lack of faith that God loves us and is in control. God is in control. We should not allow our anger to distract us. Instead, we should trust in God, giving ourselves to Him for His use and safekeeping. When you dwell on your problems, you will become anxious and angry. But if you concentrate on God and His goodness, you will find peace. Where do you focus your attention? Just focus on the Lord. He'll give you the peace you need. And, he'll, and we need to trust him here. He'll take care of us no matter what. What comes our way, God will take care of us. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I thank you for watching our videos and stuff. A lady today was wanting to know what, about my cookbook again. And I, I've told y'all on each one, we're working on it. And I've done send the recipes to the, the lady. So, uh, and uh, whenever we can get it published, I'll let y'all know, you know. So we have to work things out. We're still young. We've just been in this what about three or four months yeah, i think so, about four months so you know we're still new at this you have to pray for us <laughs> that we can get things done but i love y'all and i appreciate y'all god bless every one of you yeah the cookbook is it's coming along slowly but surely my mom's been working on it every day she works on it yeah she does something for y'all every single day she, she's either working on the cookbook trying to get that done for y'all she works on the merch and stuff and she sends y'all's letters constantly doing something for y'all every day and here's this that we haven't showed yet. It's a new apron that somebody sent to her. It says. <laughs> it says, catch up with Jesus. Let us praise and relish him because he loves me from my head to my toes. It, and it really, yeah, to, to my toes. <laughs> and that's neat. Uh, I like that saying. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Somebody sent us that. <laughs> it's a nice apron. And it's a cross on there, too. Yeah, I just it's not a realize. cross, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really I nice thank y'all for everything. Y'all yeah. are so nice and so kind. I love y'all. Yeah, and I hope y'all like seeing y'all's gifts here on the video like this. And I hope y'all like the Bible reading. I hope y'all like the cooking part. Just let us know in the comment what y'all want to see next. If y'all want a different recipes or something new, just let us know if y'all want to see around the house or if y'all want to see my mom's chickens again. I think some of them wanted to see us uh, uh, showing uh, like uh, around where we live at. We might be doing it uh, in a couple of days or something. I can't tell you. Uh, we might go down the road or something and show you the little stores that we have. It's what you was asking us to do. We'll see what we can come up with. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> but uh, I think y'all would. And if you got recipes, um, give it to me. There's Mama's new puppy. This is Scrappy. I think they just got it like a few days ago, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And I do wash my hands when I handle him. <laughs> but I think it's like a chihuahua, like a teacup yeah, chihuahua. Chihuahua, yeah. It's a head chihuahua. We had uh, one of our dogs uh, died. I don't know what happened to him. He got hit by a car this summer, but I thought he was doing okay. So, and we, a lady was selling these out there. So, we uh, and our son was crying around and everything so we thought we'd get it and he's touched all of our hearts <laughs> but i thank y'all for everything 
Y'all have a good day. And this is a little scrappy. <laughs> that's all for this video i hope y'all enjoyed it i hope y'all like the recipe the butter recipe we love y'all god bless y'all make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see y'all in the next one amen god bless all of you